Hi. Uh, lately, whenever anyone's had something nice to say about my work, I have consistently tried to say that I've been lucky. Uh, lucky to work with a lot of great people who did a lot of great work that I just got to share in. Um, but I've also been lucky to have the privilege of being me, and I have to begin this by acknowledging my privilege. I didn't just have white privilege, I had white, straight, non-disabled male born in Canada in the 50s privilege. And anybody who didn't have all of those characteristics didn't have a, as easy a time of it, um, especially when I was getting started. I have to acknowledge that, I'm not proud of that, uh, but I am proud of having had a little bit to do with that starting to get better. Just starting, a uh, long way to go yet. Um, I want to take the next minute or so to do two things. One, to say thank you, uh, and two, to um, offer some hope. Obviously, not all of my 50 years has been in leadership, not here or at Global or at CBC or at CKO and Q107, Toronto's Best Rock, or any of the other half dozen radio stations. Um, and most of the work, uh, in especially the early part of the career, would be pretty embarrassing to listen to or look at it now, I have to admit. Um, but one thing that I've tried to do at every stage has been to learn, and so many people to learn from. I've had uh, so many uh, mentors, friends, colleagues, employees, co-workers, even uh, competitors uh, that I've learned from. I'm grateful to all of them. Uh, and I'm especially grateful for the opportunities that I've had to bring in new people, people with different ideas, people who look different sometimes, and give them an opportunity to succeed, um, not just in their career, but to do something great and make a difference. I'm also really grateful for all the times that I was given permission to fail. I want to try something new, try something different, take a chance, go for it, permission to fail. Nobody bats a thousand, you get a few home runs, you're good. If there's one thing that I hope people take from me and from the outrageous idea that RTDNA is honoring me with this, it's this. You can get away with being not very smart, not very educated, uh, not very talented by rocking the boat, by pushing change and innovation. In fact, you can not only get away with it, you might even get a Lifetime Achievement Award. If any of you watching take some inspiration in that, I will feel much less undeserving.